right, guys. Those are the two bass of the day. Woo! What's up, guys? Good morning, and welcome back to Bandy Van Fishing, particularly. This weekend, we don't have much planned, no tournaments, no derbs or anything like that, but we do have a wedding later today. Ying and Simon, congratulations to you guys. But guys, we are at Phelan freaking Lake, okay? There's a lot of people who think that you can't fish this lake because it's a no motor lake, right? But I actually contacted DNR, I emailed them. I was like, yo, can we fish this lake if we use our trolling motor? And they're like, yeah, you good. So that's great. So guys, you're wondering about that, you're good to go, okay? But here we are at Phelan Lake, just trying to make something happen. We're just gonna go fun fishing because I know this lake got big bass because I seen them under the eyes while fishing with the camera and I could see them and they're huge. So why not try to catch them? But guys, let's freaking go, all right? Well guys, you might be wondering why I am driving and not on the lake. Well, I actually forgot all of my portable batteries. So um, what does that mean? That means that the GoPros will not be charged all day long. And yeah, you know, as a content creator, you want to make sure the cameras are running. But thankfully, I only live about five minutes from the lake. So driving back home, grab those batteries quick, and we are going to hop back to the line. Also, guys, if you are wondering about the motor and why it is, you know, if it's working. So I actually found out what the issue, okay? So I was talking to my buddy. Well, my buddy actually reached out to me. His name is Kylie. And uh, he was like, yo, um, your bat your motor probably sucked up some of those algae and it sucked into the motor and it kind of just, you know, clogs it up, you know? So I was like, oh, I okay, guess that makes sense. And so the issue that I actually had into, well, the issue I ran into um, when I was on the lake was due to the fact that the motor was kind of choking up, right? So I turned it off and I took off the uh, engine's cap, the cowling, I believe it, that's what it's called. I took it off and i put it back on but the thing that caused the issue was that when i actually put it back on there's those little clips in the back right and i did not see and so when i actually pushed it on due to user error it actually popped off one of the spark plug wires right like it literally like ripped it off and uh, with that happening uh, it caused one of the cylinders to not be running right so there you go i actually plugged it back together uh hooked up the uh, water system and pulled it out to the backyard of the garage ran it and it is great she is good to go so yeah just got the crib here gonna grab the grab the batteries and we will see you guys on the waters yo here all right guys so the time right now is like six in the morning okay so let's go ahead and get some of our rods ready um we got a swim jig here tied on with the tattoo 73 multi-purpose rod and the titanium mgl 2019 got this from a buddy sean from cash fishing dude gave it to me for a bomb deal dude we got right here my favorite my steez sv with a tattoo medium heavy and a green pumpkin uh bot dog jig dude this jig is like super thick and fat with a bandito bug and right here as you guys can see is a tattoo with a fanwick rod and a beautiful re-ring got my uh, ci4 plus here with a zodius rod and a ned rig pretty much just my crappie setup i put a freaking uh, drop shot wacky on it Nothing too special here, guys. I sold all my combos in order to have live scope so I don't have much stuff. Not good, though. Let's see what our best five fish is today, guys. Woo! Cast like a dream, buddy. All right, first cast, boys. First cast. It's freaking nice. If I catch a pike as a first fish, that is... Uh, that would not be very cool. I'll get towards the weed line. Oh, that is beautiful, guys. Yeah, this might be towards the weed edge right here. This lake has a lot of pike. It's got some muskies. Haven't seen one caught for a while, though. 
the DNR did stock like uh, what should we call it like white bass in here just looking for some thick stuff thick weed line I'm sure if I find that I might find a fish some grass right there I can see some weeds right there weed line 14 feet of water right now 13 feet of water here and there's like no vegetation i gotta find somewhere that has vegetation for sure dude this is like no weeds right here 12 feet of water and there's no weeds bro <clears throat> no weeds dude maybe it goes up to shallow water but all the weeds are dead bro they hella killed it off minnesota drought water is dropping yo fish on it's popping it come on she's like a pike bass pike it's a freaking gator and as i expected there's gators loaded in this area little snake oh quick release goodbye look at that guy Check for phrase, no phrase, we're set. First fish of the day, I am not complaining, was able to set the hook, so that's cool, but wrong species, guys. The heck was I doing? There goes my swim jig. As I expected, these fish are holding in areas that are a lot more weedy. Obviously, if it's not weedy, there's gonna be no fish. Let's put on a dark sleeper, boys. You know, there's never a day when they don't want the dog sleeper. You know what, guys? I'm going to take off my shoes. This is so soaked, dude. My feet's going to get all jacked up. the fish come on don't be a pike oh it's a bass yes oh just came off like that oh, that hurts but we found something out from that fish though gave us a clue so physic vi visually i can see that there's like little you know visible weeds right not a lot but i'm casting at them letting the sleeper sleep in that weed <laughs> and i'm just giving it a pop just watching the line. And if I see the line tick, that's a fish. Oh, I put on the life jacket. You'll never know, bruh. Especially after you buy yourself. Put this on, oh, man. Put it on, bruh. There's a wee line, dude. There you go. Much better. Sand and rocks right there. Fish. Hopefully it's not a pike. A little bass. Too small, but first fish of the day caught for bass. And what I found is that these fish are sitting deep. Little bass, cute guy. Hopefully that's a good sign. Okay, so let's make that same identical cast. Casting offshore here. Here is where I'm fishing, guys. My bow's right there. I'm casting to right there where it kind of like joins together.
On the fall. On the fall, guys. Oh, that was so cool. First keeper. It's panda. I just saw my line just drop, 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 drop. And I was like, hmm, it's not that deep over there. A little guy. It's cool though. See ya, buddy. Fish on. Stay pinned. Feels like a pike. It's a little bass. Okay, so that's that tells me some. These fish are sticking really low to the bottom. Fish on. Come on, please don't be boots pain. Small guy. Not even. Exciting. It's a little wiener, man. It's a small fish, guys. Finding them though. But very small fish. Hard bottom, huh? Feels like a good one. I just two pounded. Oh. Every single fish on the sleeper has shook off. Damn, dude. That's not really good. You know, I gotta quit playing myself. I have to remember that. The dark sleeper hookup may be hit or miss. That was one of the better fish of the day today. Oh, change that up. Jig. No more losing fish. No fish. No fish. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. go. Get the hell out of here. Woo! Oh. These fish are shallow, dude. Yep. Looks like these fish are shallow. I'm seeing bass already. Woo! Come on. All the weeds are dead. Come on. Please, no pikes, guys. No pikes. Please. Oh, what the hell? What the hell was that, bro? So this is a spot that I ice fished before. I know there's fish here. But can we catch any, though? Bee line over there. Do not see much activity, though, really. Jig! Now I have to go just throw around the, uh... Oh no, it's a freaking gator. Oh my goodness. It's a pike. Fish on. This is not a bass. Pike though. Like the same one I released. Quick release. Even better. What the hell? There's like no fish over here. Pike. There's nothing but pikes here. 
Pike, 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 and pike. Yep. Pikes, bro. Not a single bass. Woo! Freaking pike. <laughs> oh, goddamn pikes, bro. Guys, there is literally nothing but pikes, dude. What the hell is going on, dude? It's a fish. Come on, be a bass. This feels like a bass. Oh god, he was big. Oh god, please don't be a pike. Oh dude, it's a giant bass. Okay. Oh god. Oh, it's trying to shake it off. Fish I've been waiting for. Yes! Yes! Boom! Yes! Oh! Feels so good, guys. Finally caught a decent bass after grinding all freaking morning, guys. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, this is like a freaking four pounder. This dude is so heavy, bro. Choked the jig. Hell yeah. Dude, that was amazing. All freaking day. Let's get a weight on this bass right now. Oh, hell yeah, buddy. All freaking day long. So worth it, dude. So worth it. There's like a three pounder, but it's honestly really heavy. Four pounds, three ounces. First keeper of the day, four pounds, three ounce. Hell yeah. Very important that you add tea juice, guys. Health of the fish is uh, mortality. Guys, that was so epic, dude. Let me make that same gas. Dude, dude, that is just so amazing. Like, on the drop, he must have followed it down because I know that there's a lot of bait fish that way. All day I've been looking for bait fish, finally found them. Hell yeah. There's one, there's gotta be more. Oh. Oh God, got a good one. Finally, a drop shot. Feels like a two pounder. Got a jump. Oh my goodness, this is a big one, dude. Oh, this is a good size. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Go for start recording. Woo! -hoo. Guys, I'm hooked up to another big one. On the drop shot, Robo Worm. Man, that's when I thought the day ended. To catch more fish. Never give up, guys. It's like a three pounder. Yes! Never give up, guys. Hell yeah. In an area that I didn't even see that had fish or anything. Dude, this guy is long. 
Check this out, guys. Hell yeah. Woo! Woo woo! Never give up, guys. Okay, got the scale to work. Let's see what this bass weighs. As you guys can see there, three pounds, five ounces. That's a freaking nice one too. Nice long bass too. All right guys, those are the two bass of the day. A four and a three pounder. Almost identical in size. Just that one is like super duper built, dude. All right, let's go ahead and let them go now. All right, let's go on a three pounder. See you, buddy. Down in the depths. Well, guys, you might be wondering why is my guy dressed up like he's about to go to an interview, right? Well, I'm actually going to a wedding. Congratulations, Ying and Simon, once again. But um, today's fishing adventure, I'd say it was pretty dang tough. Like, I know that that lake holds big fish, right? But when I went out there, I think the weather conditions played a big role, like, right? And so I saw a lot of fish on uh, forward facing sonar. I tried to catch them, but I couldn't. And the ones that I did catch were either really small or just a few, you know, big ones. Like, like maybe that, that one four pounder and that one three pounder. And, the, and then the, the rest were just like one pounders, right? Where's she at? Making noises over there. Woo! But, anyways, guys, make it short. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Whoa! Say hello! Alright guys, if you have made it this far, there will be no, definitely no, no, no more fishing for now. But guys, we, would be, we will be just chilling. Today is Sunday, so me and my wife, we are gonna go out and just have some fun. Right, see? Yes. Yeah, so um, first, the plan is we will be going to my buddy, bless you, my buddy James's crib, okay? We're gonna go there and hang out with his family for a little bit and see what's going on after that around like what six or so we have like a dinner date planned downtown minneapolis so guys if you're bored stay tuned join us hang out with us come with us let's go chill So what's going on today, dude? Alright man, so today, uh, my parents are doing like a really, they want to do some nice reunion show. Uh, I just recently brought you at home, so the boy is finally engaged. Yep. Um, yeah, so just a little family gathering. Um, Phil's here, I mean, we're just surrounded by all that ones, so. That's about it, man. Yep. Just, have, just try to have a good time. Sounds good. Yes, sir. Tell me. Separate on me and you and the weather feels amazing, nice and cool. Summer in the air grew We are downtown Minneapolis. Yes. In the hood of the hood. Downtown Minneapolis, guys. What, where are we going? We're going to seven, right? Yes. It's like a high class. Not really, it's just a restaurant. It's a restaurant, okay. I guess not high class, okay. But yeah. Beautiful downtown Minneapolis, I guess. Right here. Steakhouse sushi rooftop. We are finally here and it's really windy. Yeah, it's pretty windy, guys. Check that out, though. We are here, dude. It's kind of windy. It might rain, though, guys. 
All right, guys. Cheers. You gotta be two one over to drink, man. But enjoy us. This is what I'm drinking right here. IPA, bro. Summit. It's good stuff. Mm. Tasty. You know what we got too? We got some prawns right here. Should I try it? Yeah. It's kind of hot. Damn, that's good. Damn, that's fire. Mm. Mm. All right, we got food right here. Damn. This is uh, something steak. I'm not too sure, but it costs like, it costs just as much as a 110. You got the chicken, something like that. Mm. Take the first bite. <laughs> Try it. Okay, it's my chicken sandwich. Good? Mm-hmm. How's it taste? Tastes like chicken sandwich. That good. Delicious. Before we try ours, guys, we gotta drink another beer. Mm. <sighs> mm. Tell me, that, does that look good or what? All right, let's go. Woo! Mm. Mm. Thank you. It tastes pretty good. I'll tell you guys that now. But it definitely tastes like something I could make at home. I'm not impressed, but still good, guys. <laughs> 